Hello, Collective. I was sitting in there in the living room, and I got a sled. You know, one of them 1950s sleds that there's got to be a big old bunch of snow. I bought it up here in West Virginia for my kids. I mean, my stepdad bought it for my kids when we first moved up here in 2014. And that sled, how did it kick itself over and block my door? How did it do that? Well, something told me to come in here and do a reading, so I'm going to do a reading, okay? Because something's going to come out, and I don't know what it is, but something needs to be brought out. So that's why I come in here. I mean, it, it didn't scare me. It just took me by surprise. That slid weighs 15 pounds. How did it knock it over? Who did that? Nobody. W the dogs was in there in the living room, and me and my husband was in there in the living room. So how did it do that? I don't know, but let's get into it, Collective. Spirit, can you please help me with what you're trying to say to me and to the Collective? What is it? My nose is itching off, Collective. What I'm going to say is true. It's true. It is true. That's funny. It just it just said doors on that. that see, do you all believe me yet? I'm not telling the truth. And something is scraping me right here. It feels like at the moment. know what it's going to say, but we're going to find out right here in a second. Oh, that's crazy how it just did that spirit. I see what it said. <laughs> it's crazy how spirit's messing with us. Okay, so here's what pulled out. It pulled out number three. And the essence of three is expansion. The marriage of two results in a growth and unfoldment in three. The most imaginative and creative of numbers. Three is the mother, father, child. This family unit is symbolized by the triangle known as the first perfect shape in math. The triangle represents the three fold nature of divinity in most cultures. Did you hear that? Mother, father, child. I have a past over child that just knocked that thing over to get my attention to come in here. It knocked it over and blocked the door. Your spiritual path involves you becoming a clear channel for spirit to communicate with the higher guidance from the loving spiritual worlds. Your initiation will open your receiving channels, dislodge lower vibes, and sensitize you to the subtle realms of light. I got that from the Light Workers Oracle. So it's saying, get by water, get by water. Somebody is doing divinity by water three times a day. Did you hear that? Triangle. Mother, father, child. And then it says, uh, you know, these, these younger generation, they need to respect their parents a little more because, you know, we didn't have Google walking through the school's doors. And I found that from a preacher. And uh, it's funny that that came out. But give, give someone a pat on their back today just for trying to brighten their day a bit. That's what. And then it says... Think a coal miner today because coal is what keeps your lights on. It keeps your lights on around a lot of places in the world. Y'all better think a coal miner. And then it says, Filio, Filio, Filio Herodomancy. And this is by the sounds of rose leaves clapped against the hands. That's an act of 
foretelling the future. I'm telling you. Duck, duck, goose, you're it. They're playing tag. Did you hear that? Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> you're it. And then it says, Lich Nomansi, this is watching flames of three candles forming a triangle. Did you hear that? Mother, father, child. Mother, father, child. Sometimes you want to knock somebody upside the head who's hurt you, but you choose free will to love this person so you can show others that you've grown. Okay. Oh, hey there, baby mama. Let me show you that I'm your true llama. Ichthyomancy is the examination of fish, living or dead. Living or dead, did you hear that? A very smart, brilliant genius with a bright smile. So, what I'm getting from this is something's unfolding. It's going to happen in three, and, I, and that scares me because I know what that usually means. I'm not going to even say it because I'm sure a lot of you all know what I'm talking about. But there, something's going on around by the water, and it's it's a it's something about your generation. These young generation, and, and there says doors. There's a there's a door open. There's a door open right now. And somebody's trying to brighten your day. Somebody, somebody, my son that died, Alan, he might be trying to get my, to uh, help brighten my day by making that door, noise fall to the door so I couldn't get through the door while I go off that sled. Did you hear that? And uh, somebody saying, you chose free will to love this person so you can oh, show others that you've grown and so you did this with your baby father because it says oh hey there baby llama let me show you that I'm your true llama um somebody dead wanted to tell you you're a genius and you got a bright smile <laughs> did you hear that that's crazy ain't it yeah they're examining. Somebody said, you're it. You're it. Clapped against the hands. It's like that door clapped against the door to say, you're it. You're it. You're it. Molly Day, child. You need to give somebody a pat on their back today just for the heck of it and tell them you appreciate them, okay? And especially your children. All right, and it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what place you live in. You just need to do that, okay? Sorry, you guys. Let's see what this. Okay, we have a message for the collector, please, and thank you very much. Somebody's trying to come to you in your dreams. You might be getting all this ancient information. It's trying to come through to you at your dreams. You prayed. You prayed for a sign. You prayed for a sign in a dream. You prayed for a sign in a dream. And it could have been about change. I Ching. You changed your prayers. Uh, you got to start praying every night before you go to sleep. Or you listen, change. You better listen now. Quick, if I'm not lying. Thank you, ancestors, for showing me that. I appreciate you so much. I'm grateful. And I'll pray. I'll pray. Because somebody puts spells on you. Alchemy. They're trying to put spells on you when you sleep. That's, that might be why that fell a while ago to make me come in here so I'd see it. That might be why collective. Precision. Precisely correct what I just said. Precisely correct. It's correct that they let us fail on you. Oh gosh. And because they are they they these people is trying to change my knowledge. Did you see that? They're trying to change my ancient knowledge. And, and, and this could be another tarot reader. Did you see how it said that? 
Whoever it is, my sons, let me know. Y'all better stop and change right now. You better pray to God that that you that you shouldn't be doing it messing with these spells because God, somebody's something's gonna happen in three. Something's gonna happen in three. So I'm telling you right now. So whoever's doing that, you better down stop because that's what spirit said. That's what spirit's telling you all now. I'm telling you right now. Spirit wants for dreams. What what we need to know, what for dreams. I thank you, Spirit. Thank you, guides. Who the moon, the light side of the moon. And this is when things seem unclear yet feel intense. I'll watch and wait till they make more sense. See, you're trying to make more sense of your dreams at night. Uh, somebody's getting a lot of downloads in your dreams and you're trying to make sense of them out night. Uh, this is believing introspective. I mean, becoming introspective. Things not necessarily as they appear. You've had a lack of clarity. See, you can't figure out your dreams. That's what it is. Uh, there's intensified feelings and emotions coming through at the moment. Somebody's howling it up in the moon, trying to get to you in your dreams. That's why Spirit said, pray, pray, look, pray, because they're trying to steal your joy and light and your success. That's why that came out a while ago, I told you. They're trying to steal, uh, you know, your happiness. But this might be a, ch a child, children, it says. Pray for your children. Pray, child, pray for my children. I pray for my children. I don't let nothing happen to my children or my collective's children. I love you, God. And I hope you keep your my angels around. You're going to have some good luck. This is about right timing and synchronicities. You're going to have a new opportunity to break through and move towards a... This is a new cycle. You being at the top of the wheel. You being at the top of the wheel, okay? That's Pisces, Leo, and um, Sagittarius, Wheel of Fortune, I think. And over here, Spells, Alchemy. Ooh, see, it's a dark magician. It's a it's a magician in their dark energy. They're they're trying to trick you. They're trying to trick you with M with in pure intent. They're a shapeshifter. They. They they lost their connection to higher knowledge. Whoever this is that was doing spells on you. And they're having a lot of dreams at night. And they can't interpret them. And they're mad that you're somebody that maybe know how to interpret dreams. And you know how to pray the correct way. Look, you got a lot of wisdom. And maybe you got a, you're of high spiritual authority or rank. And God loves you and you're protected. Do you see that dove? You're protected. You're protected, and this is doctrine, education, orthodoxy, tradition, structure, teacher, teacher of spiritual wisdom and knowledge, um, faith, rituals, customs, lore, and structures, teachers and educational institutions, preachers and orthodox religions, hospitals, charity organizations, and government offices, government offices, so... It comes a lot, maybe, that whoever this person is that's doing spells on you, it could be any of them people that I just said. They could also work in the government. Did you hear that? Or be messing with government records. That I believe that they're messing with government records, and they're at the bottom of the wheel. So something's happened to them as spirits put them on a timeout. Maybe you're growing in your business, and it's pissing this person off, so they're doing spells of you. It says... Insight and wisdom gained from this ordeal already me for the upturn of the wheel. Uh, bad luck, poor timing, misfortune, setbacks, delays. See, they, they tried to delay your knowledge from getting around in the spiritual community. This, this person that did it, yeah, because they knew that I was this. See, 
I got all at Libra, and we at Libra Justice. See, they know that my guidance was the correct way, and they was acting like it wasn't, because I got a lot of wisdom, in, and I tell the truth, you know, and I've always been pretty fair and balanced, I think, and honest, you know. Uh, at one time, we all go around lying and flipping, you know, but I tell them my own business, and I'm pretty happy with myself. 15, 15, even all the bad things I've done, I want y'all to be like that too, collective. If people say you're this or that, don't let it bring you down, don't. Don't, okay. And look, threes come out. Look, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See, this person don't have that. This person don't have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Threes, mother, child, father. That's why it pisses them off, okay? Um, your understanding, uh, this person is, fine, is, is getting ready to be understanding the laws of spiritual karma and their personal karma, whoever this person is. The keys miss it when you collect it. Don't worry. They're getting ready to see that they shouldn't have been messing around with you and me, whoever this person is. So they're they're alchemizing that you would change your profession, but you know that's that's the only. It sounds like you're smart and you knew these people was doing stuff. You you've been praying about it. God said keep doing it, keep doing it. They can't hurt you, my child. That's what they said. Look, justice. See, look, yin yang balance. Justice, justice twice. So uh. You're somebody that has good intentions, and you told your secrets on your moon. You're not scared about it. That's what that means, and you're getting ready to be able to help a lot of people, and this is daughter of the Lord of, the, of Truth. This is about your balance, eternal justice, strength, fairness, equality, yin and yang. So maybe your twin is trying to come to you through your dreams, see the yin and yang sign? Maybe they're trying to come to you through your dreams. Pray. Maybe you pray for this person. Maybe maybe they've been praying for you or something. But we don't know about him. Oh, look. Empress. Uh, it kind of light to keep prayed up, Empress, because, you know, you're somebody that's happy and you're beautiful. You, 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 you seek pleasure. And, and you're... You're going to be a success because you take you took action. This is about you developing your skills. That's what kind of lie. And you changed your own fortune. You changed your own fortune. And you know it's all in divine time. And you're going to have your time. That's all that means. And eight of wands come out. This is about uh, somebody has been trying to change your knowledge excessively. But they didn't know that you had a force inside you. But. This is about your swiftness of courage, boldness, and freedom. You you might be getting warfare sent towards you at the moment. But love of open air. You love the outside. Uh, you could be getting some love message, but there's some messages coming to you fast from, from someone that might have done you wrong. And that's Libra and Taurus energy. So that's masculine feminine. Did you see that? Masculine feminine. <laughs> I love you, God. You're so funny. <laughs> and two of pentacles come out. This is about... This person is trying to... Make their spells... Make you be... Lose your streak. They're trying to trick... And... And they got... In, in pure intent to shape shift. And... And... They, they don't know how to manifest their own desires, but they think that they can do yours. Okay, but this person is weak. They don't have the strength that you do. Uh, they're foolish and, and sometimes uh, argumentative. That person, all they want to do is argue. Argue, argue, argue. That's all the hell they want to do. And then you know how to... Uh, 
talk about these numbers with precision and you uh you could be a spiritual mentor and you're very kind and generous and diligent princess of pentacles you know that's taurus virgo capricorn taurus virgo capricorn so you're going to receive a message from a taurus virgo capricorn or about a taurus virgo or capricorn but these people for taking your knowledge and swinging it around and acting like they didn't mess with you with your life they was trying to mess with your deep concentration and uh but they didn't know that benevolent is with you you're very cautious and it could be a king of swords look out at him look at him see his goat hoofs so uh it looks like he had goat hoofs i don't know what it is maybe he has fish legs it looks like too kind of but this uh they didn't know that uh they wasn't supposed to steal all your ideas and thoughts or your designs they this person has a distrust they're very suspicious and cautious controlled but determined justice justice on the tarot guidance you're a just a fire tarot guider yeah, because you don't have evil intentions. You don't, you know, if you're anything like me, I don't sit around and go, whippity-doo, I, I, I send it back to you. <laughs> I sit here and tend to my own business. You know what I mean? I don't sit around and make up concoctions and send it out to the world. I don't do that. I mean, I just sit here and read my tarot cards, and I got a lot of wisdom and skill, in it, and I adapt. I'm original. I'm self-confident. And you are too, collective. So that's listening to me. If you do a practice like this, you're very self-confident also. This is the magus of power. You're very powerful and just. And uh, whoever, and you could be a uh, queen of swords. That was on the bottom. You know, and queen of swords is, you know, an air sign, uh, and I got more Libra in me, more justice, you know, energy in me than anything. You had to change your perceptive about someone. Someone is observing you, and uh, you're subtle, quick, and confident, and graceful self. They are studying everything about you. They know that you're not one to play with because you're justice. If you got to swiftly cut someone off, you know how to swiftly cut someone off. That doesn't mean you actually go around cutting off people's heads, but it just means you get the truth out. You get the truth out. You get the truth out. That's what it's saying, okay? Justice will prevail. Justice will prevail. And we got temperance and six of wands. See, justice will prevail. You're balanced, uh, this is real, realizing that realizing that balance is coming into your life. If you was really sincere about things that you had done under the moon and you prayed about it, things you will be able to make your dreams a reality. Okay, you're realizing this, and there's a might be a combination of forces is helping you at the moment. Okay, and temperance. You do things in moderation. You you know how to do it the correct way, okay? And then, you know, that's Sagittarius and Scorpio. You're going to have a victory, Empress. You're going to have a victory <coughs> over this, um, over your fortune. You're going to have a victory. This is about victory after strife, conquest, triumph success through energy and industry you want to have success in your energy work so don't you doubt it little empress don't you doubt it okay i'm trying to see if i can see something else oh and then we got the high priestess see but it was upside down so this person that's in the dark down here they're not balanced they're not in harmony they do things foolishly and excessively and and they're ignorant. That's why it's upside down. See the top line up it says ignorance. They're ignorant and they have short-sightedness. They they have a lack of under understanding, whoever that person is. They they don't understand. That's why they're 
there is the upside down. So I think this high priestess in upside down has been messing with this empress and her life. Yeah, the mood. Yep. Uh-huh. Because uh because this empress was telling how it's uh this high priestess was you know, she sounded kind and like she was benevolent, but she was lying. She was lying. That's why the mood came out. Yeah, she was lying. And look, that's that little scarab beetle. See that little scarab beetle? Uh, yeah, deception, error. They're false. They're dissatisfied. Whoever is, whoever this person is, they've been dissatisfied and they wasn't telling their truth. They wasn't telling her truth. They was sounding like a, they was, you know, he just towards you know, upside down as a manipulative, malicious person, you know. Yeah, see the Hierophant. Here comes the Hierophant again. This is about Magus of the Eternal Gods. This is divine wisdom. See, you got a lot of divine wisdom. It's, you know that you had to, we all receive our karma. You was just at the bottom of your wheel at the moment. And maybe that's why people didn't think you had a lot of knowledge. But you changed and you got a lot of wisdom. You're, you And you're manifesting at the moment. And you do this ritualistically, and there's a lot of unexplained things happen around you at the moment. This is about you staying kind and being timid. The less you say, the better. Have you learned that collective? I have. Yep, the less you say, the better. So, so you're going to receive a message. And it's coming in fast to you. And it's about this victory. And somebody wanting to reconcile. Somebody's wanting to reconcile. That's why, you know, temperance, daughter of the reconcilers. Somebody's wanting to reconcile. It's divine masculine or divine feminine is with you. That's the way I'm reading it. Okay, collective. Let me see. Well, I don't want to do these. I don't do the deal. Hang on a minute. Spirit, spirit. What was I doing? It says, all they know how to do is be a passive, passive aggressive bully gambler. And all those smiles and smirks over here, they don't work over here. So somebody is was gambling with their own life, this person. Uh, smiling and smirking, acting like they, they never did nothing before. And God called them out just now saying, quit smiling and smirking now. Oh, and, and this person is in love with you. They're wishing that you'll give them a chance to show you and to prove to you that they are the person of your dreams. Now, collective, they said, I love you to the moon and back. Now, Empress, I feel balanced with you. I want to have a victory with you. And if I had a star for every time that you brightened my day, I'd have a whole darn galaxy on my hands. Now, that's what they said now, collective. They said, you're just a person of their dreams and Loudy, loudy, they just don't know what to think. You're just like the best star they ever seen now. And uh Divine Divine Feminine sees your true value, Divine Masculine. She knows you're going to be a millionaire because she sees how hard you've been building that great legacy of life. Ooh, y'all gonna be millionaires together. Y'all gonna be like Shooting stars all the way into your dream life. Oh, you're shooting your dreams right into your dream life. And this person that's this high priest or priestess and upside down, she it she was trying to take spells. She was taking spells to make you look like you wasn't balanced because she knows that me and you, me over here collector, she knows I hold a lot of spiritual that I Hold the keys to the territory. We got spiritual knowledge. See, we got that. That's what they was, they was, uh, alchemizing that they could keep it to where that my channel wouldn't grow. But they can't because I keep persevering. I keep persevering. I keep doing it every day collective. I keep doing it every day. 
And when you see a face in the clouds, just know a guide from long ago is peeking out to you, trying to speak out loud, saying, just keep your faith, my dear, we have you. And that's what that spirit guide of mine is just telling me. That's why that that 15 pound sled over just fell out of nowhere and hit the door. And then I, I, it was blocking my way. Now, how did it do that? I just told you, I love y'all collective. I, don't, I wouldn't lie to you. I, I need to go over and get it and show you how big it is. It says, don't give all your power away or your visions for the sake of being accepted by the same people not want you to shine brightly. See, these people, they don't want you to shine brightly, but you got divine wisdom and you are controlled and determined to shine brightly. And, and uh, somebody from the spiritual realm is trying to speak out loud to you. And you might notice this in the clouds, but I think it's in your dreams too. They're trying to warn you who this bully is and they're trying to warn you who the bully is. Oh, look at that. I love you, spirit. And you need to ro use rose quartz to help you heal. Okay. So you teach people that. And, and you're a star, you know. You're you're the healer of the ages. It's your destiny. It's not theirs. They was, it come to lie that they was trying to mess with your destiny. They was praying for your downfall. But this person wants to tell you they love you. So I don't get it. So one person loves you and one person don't, or they're just pretending. Oh, and it's another woman. She was on the outside looking in on a life that she knew jack shit nothing about. So there was another woman trying to veer over here and look at Divine Feminine, who is a star, who is a star empress. They're trying to look into her life and try to pretend that it's hers, and that's just not working. God said that just ain't going to work now. God said that ain't going to work. And it's, it's, this man, it, uh, it, it, they're fantasizing about getting you in the bed and all things they want to do. See, this man, all they can do is just fantasize about getting you in the bed and stealing all your crown chakra and throwing you off balance and off kilter because uh, they, they uh, what did it say? Because this person, they lack understanding. They're ignorant. They're an ignorant magician that all they know how to do is cast dumb spells, this ignorant magician. They might be somebody younger than you and, and they don't realize they, they don't have the life that you have. Or they could be somebody older than you and are just that type of people. I don't know, collective, but I guess you will. Oh, but looky here. Look. It said, your spirit guides and, and my spirit guides, which help me in my collective, that's why I come in here and did this reading. It, it was wanting you to know that somebody's trying to speak out loud to you, and it's outside when the moon is out, and it's your twin. You know, when you meet a twin, you'll lock eyes, and it will feel very intense, and it's like you've known each other before and can sense that you're connected. So in the moonlight, they sense that you're all connected, and they're saying, they're telling you right now, your twin is telling you, just keep your faith, my dear. We will be together again. That's what it's saying. And uh, the benevolent, you know, they they cautious they caution they caution you when something's happening. They always warn you. Uh, they want to tell you that they veered away from your path, and they might have lied. They was dissatisfied, and they changed. They changed to being uh they changed for this deep connection they changed for your deep connection did you hear that your twin changed and that's true they're they're wanting to marry you they want to be in a tradition with you that's what that's meaning and and, the, and i'm telling you some precise correct information right now at the moment and the numbers is trying to teach you all something and I tell you, these numbers don't have to be like five, five, five. They can be eleven, thirty-three, eleven, thirty-one. It's whatever number it is that calls out to you all collective. Pay attention to it. It's it's trying to tell you something. And I like reading sun signs. That's the ones I like reading is sun signs. Oh, and this this person that uh, whoever this person was that. I guess that maybe you told your visions about 
they're mad because you spoke on everything that they did to you or, or said about you. They're mad. They didn't want you to shine bright. They want to jump you out in town. Somebody's wanting to jump you. Look, it's a man and woman wants to jump a man and woman out in town. Look, they want to jump you out in town. Another man and woman. Um, and it could be a Taurus since Hierophant come out again or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a, or a Sagittarius. Are you listening? They're mad about, they're sitting at the bottom of the wheel, and they, they're just going to have to roll with the punches until things improve. They can, I mean, that's, that's all they can do, and, uh, because they shouldn't have messed with my ideas or your all's ideas or thoughts. They shouldn't have did that. They shouldn't have played with you. They shouldn't have played with you, Collective. They fucking played with you. And, uh... Yeah, they just played with you and your kindness. They played with your divine wisdom. They didn't want you to shine brightly. They didn't want you to. They went around telling everybody you was a queen of swords and you chopped everybody's heads off or some shit. That's what it was. But... But look, but you know, we're meant to rule the world together. We've done this in our past lives. We were royalty babies. See, see, you're, you're, you all was royalty in your past life. That's why you're, you're able to talk about this fairness being treated unfairly and being treated fairly because you're, you're confident and you're graceful and you live this in your past life and, and you're guiding others with your knowledge of how to find their lineage. If they're smart, they'll listen to you. You know it. But whoever that one person is, they just want it to, uh, they, they didn't know the difference between lust and love. They was just lusting you. They just wanted to get you into bed, whoever that person was that's doing all these spells. And they're a druggy liar. See at the bottom, a druggy liar. They're a druggy liar that doesn't know the difference between love or lust, and they need to stop doing spells and stealing and trying to steal a true twin connection, spiritual knowledge, and, and their partner. You can't do that. What goes around comes around. You know that collective. What goes around comes around. These people wish they hadn't messed with me, okay? And don't feel bad. It's their own fault. It'll be their own darn fault now, collective. said oh see this bully it's smirking and looking over here they're sending a gin spirit at night whenever you're in a bed asleep that's what they're doing but they didn't understand that my spirit team is over here watching them every time they're doing this and it's not getting to me it's not getting to me they're an idiot see they're just an idiot uh their their intelligence is permanently reduced from playing with them gin spirits and sending them to a true star. That's what God just said. Uh, they didn't understand that you have loyalty in the spirit realm. Your your uh your spirit team is loyal to you. Your past over loved ones, they're loyal to you. They serve you loyally because you're a psychic, and you have finely honed intuition that lets you know and predict the future for others. See, they didn't understand this. Well, they should have realized. They should have realized. Stop being a dog-ass bitch, cause we're psychic and we'll tell on them. Oh, we're masters. We're psychic masters. You have obtained higher knowledge that you share with your that you share with your words and just your presence. You you speak this like I do, collective. I tell you. You're a master psychic. People see it. And uh, and this visor came out to let you know within the next year you're going to 
be able to ask a question and receive a truthful, helpful solution within the next year. This psychic is going to help somebody, and then they'll realize, they'll realize that they was idiots for placing gins in her or his life. Ooh, there's a hostile dragon. So this person that's sending out gin spirits, this idiot, they're getting ready to have a dragon come blow up their house. Look, door. Look, door. Door. Go back to the front of the video, door. An interdimensional portal appears, leading to any one place of your choosing. It remains open for one hour. Oh, this idiot... This idiot's in here looking around right now. Well, son, please encounter my brother. Please put out your hostile dragon, brother. I love you. I love you so much. Did you know it, brother? I do. I love you so much. Look, balance, balance. Your mind suffers a riching alteration causing your alignment to change. Lawful becomes chaotic. Good becomes evil, vice versa. But they can't do this to a balanced person. They, cause see her crown chakra, see above it up her, see you're, you're, you're spiritually sound and they can't knock you off balance and it's pissing them off. It's pissing them off to where they want to come over to your house and burn it down. That's why that fire is coming out from that right there. That's what it is. Yeah, they're mad. They're that mad because you're balanced. They, they're, they're trying to put a curse on you, psychic. It's not working. Y'all's magic ain't for crap. Y'all's magic ain't good, I'm telling you. Your magic ain't hurt this artist. You have a special vision that you can realize by honoring your creativity in all its forms. See? And that's what we do. And they're trying to hurt us, but they can't collective. They can't. They can't. Does it look like I'm worried? No. Nah, because we're not. We're not worried, are we, collective? We're not worried what them crazies do. We're not worried what they'll cause these to do. Hang on, let me get these cards. Hang on, someone's upside down or something. Or they go the right way. He's weak now. Here, hang on. Here we have a message today for a collective resentment. It's for some stinging words, they put all this magic and witchcraft on you. All because your words hurt. Um, now this person is trapped in bitterness and angriness. And they're an idiot. They're an idiot for doing that. Uh, ghosting, look. Ghosting, disappearing, invisible. See, they put this invisible force to. They thought they could come over here and, and run away. But, well, maybe this is just for you and your twin that they're saying somebody's twin out here or or soulmate. They're saying that your words is stinging and they're angry at you because you ghosted them. And I guess you said your goodbyes or farewells to this person. You're saying goodbye, your farewells, you, you, closure. You're seeking closure at the moment, and Spirit's trying to give it to you. Beauty, charming, graceful, luxurious. So maybe somebody's saying goodbye. This beautiful, this beautiful twin might be saying goodbye and closing out cycles. She's opening her heart. She wants to be more soft and vulnerable. She wants to be more soft and vulnerable. Uh, you gotta surrender. You got to detach and trust. You gotta free fall and have faith that all will be well. So you gotta surrender. You gotta surrender all that bitterness and anger. Angry and all in words that hurt. You gotta let go of it. Say, ah. Oh. Oh, I feel better to let go of all that. <laughs> That's what you got to do to let go, okay? Depth. You're very complex. You're aware of this, and you're important. This was about your, your, your surrendering to the depths of your soul and not worrying about this person that ghosted at you. Not worrying about it. Okay? What under romance? 
I mean, what our farewell regret. Remorse, life regrets, loss, start making empowered choices. So you're saying fire, but farewell, goodbye to all that down regret. Let that person not see my true beauty. Bye, farewell, because I see my own beauty. That's what you're saying. Oh, uh, yeah, and, and you're very graceful, and you can speak to people about red flags and delusion and staying trapped in illusion and confusion. You, 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 you're, you're able to change your perception because that's why that King of Swords come out. You see through, you see through your own false beliefs. You know what that means. You know you had to open your heart and stop being bored. You had to open your heart and stop being bored and shallow. Bored, bored, superficial. Now, 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 spirit's gonna help you. Yeah. What spirit? What spirit want to help with now? Hello, you spirit. Oh, in the springtime. In the springtime. Your love is blooming and your answers arrive in spring with this family. This is about your kids' judgment. Resolve all your family stress. You, you got support from your family. One day, one day, somewhere another time, this person in the background, that's what they're saying, someday another time. This was about your values and your self-esteem and you having the confidence you was to be empowered by valuing yourself. See, you you learn to be worthy of yourself and you're like, if I see this person again one day, I will. And if I don't, then I won't. You know, a runner, running, chaser. <laughs> They're in pursuit, convincing, rejection. Let them go and let it be. See, you had to let it go and let it be. About all this rejection. It could have been somebody rejecting you and your family. You had to quit worrying about it. Hesitation, yeah, because you they broke your trust. Somebody had broke your trust. That's why that has a hesitation feeling come out. You had to start appreciating your family and everybody that you do have. Be grateful for them. And you know, one day you're very free spirited and there might be a possibility that you see this person another another time. And that's okay. Spirit said that's okay. You're worthy of it. You got to open yourself up to meeting someone else collective. You got to get out there and travel and move around. Roam around and travel and appreciate what you got. Okay? Hang on, it fell on the floor. Chaser. See, this was just about infatuation, that rejection, that, that person. They was trapped in it, in addictions. That's why or you was and, and that's okay you aren't your self-worth so that's why i think it's okay collective don't don't stay hung up on stuff don't don't stay hung up on stuff that don't really matter okay let me get you one of these here we have we have one of these 11 11 oh that's important numbers for twin flames it symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts see your balance with somebody in your family this is your spiritual family you're all you're all loving your spiritual journey is beginning somebody's out here and you gotta let go sometimes it's best to let go and let universe work things out in divine time and see that's what you did you let go with that with that person that was running from you and that you was chasing you let it all go you're worthy of love so rejoice embrace your loving connection and rejoice so embrace these these spiritual connections and re rejoice it's okay collected don't worry okay Ooh, telepathic close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized creating moments of telepathy see that's why every time you see at 11 11 your spiritual partner is telling you, let go of this old, let go of the old, let let it all go and put it in divine's hands because we will be connected and rejoicing again because we do this through our mind. Do you hear that? <laughs> so don't worry, we always do it through our mind. People can't stop that connection. You know that, right? 
You know that, don't you, Click? And them people can't stop it. No, they can't. They can't collect it. You have one of these or something? Because you have the potential. Think big for your future. Think big as you can think. If you dream it, it will come. Maybe you stir into a crystal ball, see how that little girl is. Or maybe when you was a child, you used to love those snow globes. And spirits tell you to get another one of them and stir into it. Shake the snow around and stir in it. Stir in it. They're going to show you something. It's going to be your potential. You're, you're just going to feel it. You're going to know what you're meant to do. You might be meant to help children. But, you know, just know that your children are protected. Your children are protected in your spiritual journey. Your, your angel, I love you, son. Thank you for showing me that. I know exactly what that means. I love you. I love you. I have nothing to worry about collecting. My Passover son watches my children They're because they're wanting... They're saying, we're watching over your children. Don't worry about them right now. Because we're making your future big. You just got enlightened. This is your pursue spiritual growth. You need to pursue your spiritual growth collective. Look how beautiful all them animals are around her. Look, that's Kali Ma. See Kali Ma? And I have my Kali Ma statue, remember? You got enlightened that you can grow spiritually. Even if you got to leave a person behind, Star, it's, it's your destiny. It, it wasn't theirs to mess with, so rejoice. Oh, look, Dove, take a leap of faith. Rejoice, take his leap of faith. Cheer up, cheer up. Live in the moment and cheer up. Live in the moment. And and, and then that's why confrontation came out. You had to pick your battles wisely with this family of yours, and we all have to do that. There's no use to fight over crazy little things. Only big things. You know, it, somebody's spiritual partner might be getting ready to confront your children if they're older. They're wanting to talk to them about how you need to let go of somebody that might have been mean to you. They're, they're wanting to cheer you up. They love you. They're wanting to help you face your fears together. At least the power of all is fear. They love you. Stop being fearful that they're going to reject you. Pay attention to the moon cycles when they do that magic. Remember, that's when they're casting all that fear so you won't go towards yours. You remember, don't you, collective? Dove, but the doves is warning you to take a leap of faith because that was just a battle of the blues. Take steps toward this positive change. Stop being stuck in the mud and stuck in the muck. Pull yourself out of there. It'll be okay. We all go through this. The battles of the blues. That's how it's saying. Okay, collective. Now let me give you an angel message of mine. Angel message of mine. What's an angel message tell me? You might collect it from the divine. We have a message. We love you. We thank you so very much. We thank you so very much. Here we have another message. Oh, we love you. We thank you. We thank you so much. We thank you so much. We love you. Oh, yeah. We love you, Spirit God. We love you, Spirit God. Did you know how much we love you? We love you so much, yes we do. So your angels gave the gift of being able to manifest anything that you desire or wish for because you have good intentions and are valid, very balanced. See, that's why all that come out. I love you, collective. So hopefully you believe me. So whoever sent out them little gin spirits, spirits, they're not helping because they can't get to us because we're like genies in a bottle. Our wishes is by the divine. They can't take that away. Your angels gave you the gift of tapping into the spirit realm and tapping into what your past over loved ones knows of to help you along your life path journey. So true. My past over loved one got me in here to do this reading right now for you all. Your angels gave you the gift of common sense. People know that you've had a hard life. With this life, it gives you plenty full wise knowledge to help others with. So you got a lot of knowledge. 
And your angels gave the gift of talking with your spirit guides. They always let you know how special you are by giving you numerous spiritual gifts. And they will warn you. They love you. And uh, fresh starts and new beginnings, success, spiritual awakenings also means twins going through a transformational stage. You have met or you are about to meet your true twin flame, 111. Oh, 11, 11, and 111. You're meeting your true twin flame. The angels are supporting and surrounding you, protecting you. This is deep tranquility, love of peace, a sign of abundance coming, peace and happiness. Leave your comfort zone, take new directions, and or begin new projects. You're on the right t path towards your dreams, 1212. That's what that means. So your twin, your true twin flame is the man or woman of your dreams. They got a lot of spiritual, they got numerous spiritual gifts, and they've had a they they got a lot of common sense, and they're able to manifest. And their spirit team helps them. And the angels gave them the powers to make people understand how it feels when they've been crapped on by many people that they've encountered. They have this same as you, and they have the gift of writing. Your angels gave the gift of writing. You're good at poems, letters, and stories. Anything you write is good and amazing. Your angels is leading you to. Uh, to write your spiritual gifts down, collect them, and share your knowledge with others. If you're anything like me, that's what you'll do. And these are my angel gifts, and nobody has permission to copy, okay? Or any of my other cards, like I just read to you. You know, you can't steal that, okay? All right, well, I love y'all. I'll help you with anything, but I don't want people to steal everything I got and leave me without mine, do you understand? All right, well, I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all more than you'll ever know. I'm grateful for you, and I hope this helped. And remember, now, that sled hit fell down. I'm going to pack it over here and show you. Let's move this truck back. Look at this sled. See how big that sled is? It says Silver Streak. That's the one at Fail Collective. That's the one. Did you listen how heavy? Listen, hit it for. And it's laying up against the wall. I don't get it. But I thought I'd show y'all that. Please like, subscribe, and share. Peace.